And had I known this, man, it would have saved me so much time and money. What's going on, man? My name's Mac. I've been creating content over social media for about a decade and officially went full time about two years ago now. Here's just a few things I wish I had known before I went full time. First thing I'm gonna tell you guys always is just start. Realistically, I should be about an extra two or three years into the game, but I've wasted so much time because I want it to be so perfect here or so perfect, best this, best that. I don't have time, which was complete BS because we all know if somebody, if you really wanna do something, you will create the time for it. I was just being lazy and justifying it with crazy things in my mind. The only way you're gonna get better at this thing or anything else is by doing it. So me not starting really, you know what I'm saying, set me back, had to do a lot of learning and some more stuff. You could watch hundreds of thousands of videos about how to shoot a basketball, but at some point you gotta get some shots up. Another thing I wish I had known, man, was you don't get the pick when it's your time. You could spend all this time on a video from making the thumbnail, planning out the script, all of these hours recording and feel like, man, I put in all this hard work, I deserve millions of views, wrong. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody cares about how much work you put into this video. Most thing they care about is what is this video doing for me? But it's up to you to keep grinding and keep putting in that work because at some point it will be recognized and you also got to do a lot of learning while you're doing that, a lot of metrics, a lot of analytics, but I'm just breaking it down to just things I wish I had known because I thought hard work equals success, but it's a lot of other things that go into that, but you also want to make sure you're you are working hard in this process. This just rolls into my next thing. This is a marathon, not a sprint. You probably think this easy, don't you? You think I just wake up, fire up a stream, or make a video or two and just spend the rest of the day relaxing, feet up, dipping mimosas or whatever, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Realistically, I work more now than I did with my nine to five, but I have a much clearer headspace and I don't have to worry about anybody breathing behind my back and that all goes in the reasons I left my nine to five. If you guys want that video, please let me know in the comment section below. Finish, mom? Let's see. Okay, you got all the Z. Wrote your name at the top. You got the W's, the X's. Okay, good job, mom. I like it. All right, be ready for your test on Monday. You know, stay at home, dads. With this being a marathon, it's not likely you're going to blow up in one video, two videos, five videos. Hell, it may take a hundred videos before you finally get a video over a hundred views, but you got to be in it for the long run. You got to be learning while you're doing this. You got to be locked in, bro, because overnight success really isn't a thing, bro. Those people have been working years before they finally crack the surface and people think it's overnight success. It only looked that way to the outsiders. You just got there, not them. They've been putting in that hard work. Another one I want to talk to you guys about, and it's very important, man. You got to have a strong mental for this, man. What I mean is you got to be sound mentally and always progressing towards your goals. Have these goals written down so you can visually see them. Small ones that go into a big one. Ain't nothing like finishing up something that you've been working so hard to do. Because I'm going to tell you like this, bro. Spending all this time on videos or you didn't popped open a stream and nobody shows up or you spent all this time on a video that get no views. I'm telling you, it could be daunting to the mental. But if you know what your goals are and why you're doing certain things, you cooling, bro. Comments as well. People say crazy stuff in the comments in the chats got me a nice set of mods where i don't even really see those to be honest with you or we let them rock you know what i'm saying i like to let foolishness show itself to be honest sometimes and then sometimes you know we we get them up out of here we get them the fuck up out of here but yeah man it's very easy to ignore these comments but you like i said we all human sometimes we'll see one comment and it just hey i, I didn't even did it bro it did hit a nerve i didn't respond it and went crazy go on, i'm gonna go and delete that bro no need to delete that and delete him up out of there bro it's human nature everybody ain't gonna rock with you but for the most part a lot of people on the internet are just trolls bro these be grown men these be kids these be people from all over bro they just want to get a reaction out of you let's not do that and last but certainly not least it's more about you than the aesthetics you don't need all this fancy gear and fancy background camera microphone you don't need all of that to get started on your YouTube journey, man. It's as simple as having a cell phone and people are more inclined to return and stick around from the way you made them feel or the value or validation that you gave them more so than how good the what's name sound if the video ain't really worth anything. One thing I will say though, you do want a good sound mic. So check out this video and I'll let you know how to make any mic sound good.